Okay, I'd like to invite up to the stage Eric Berry from Triple Lift. He's going to talk about how do we measure success. Come on up, Eric. So we are Triple Lift, a native advertising platform. And what that means is we work with brands and agencies to integrate their advertising content into the unique look and feel of the 1,000 plus different publishers that we work with. And that means we have to have one single set of assets given to us by the uh, brands that we work with, and it has to automatically look great and embrace the unique look and feel of each of the different publishers that we work with with no extra effort. Uh, and that's a very computer vision intensive uh, task. So how we actually work. Basically, we're an RTB platform. That means uh, every impression that's bought and sold on Triple Lift is bought through real-time bidding, meaning when an impression comes in, uh, us and all of our partners who want to buy native advertising bid in real time based on what they think that user is worth at that time of day uh, on that page based on all the information that they know about that user, and it has to be renderable in real time at impression time uh, to look great on each particular website and it has to require no extra effort by that advertiser. What that means is that they bid with an asset. So in this example, there's a table or a computer, and it has to look great uh, at using the information that we have about that particular asset on whatever that particular publisher may be. And we need to leverage existing advertising infrastructure, meaning it needs to be biddable on existing RTB infrastructure, so they specify, it, currently people specify, oh, I'm going to bid with this particular banner ad, and it just works everywhere. And they need to be able to say, I'm going to bid with this particular image, and it has to work everywhere. And so what that means is then we have to understand what that image is and make sure that we render it great. And finally, we have to integrate it into the unique look and feel of all the different publishers that we work with, be it mobile web, display, mobile app, all the thousand different looks and feels that we have. That, in turn, requires extensive image analysis. So the question is, how well are we cropping? How well are we rendering our brand's assets so they look great no matter what? And that actually becomes a pretty challenging question. So if you take the example of this particular table, uh, and it has to be rendered in two different aspect, or in this in one different aspect ratio. You know, what's the right way to do it? What's the most important part of this image? What really captures that particular images or that particular brand's uh, advertising message? And you know, in this case, there's not necessarily a right answer. The the top part has these pictures, and that's one look and feel. And the bottom part has the table, and that's a completely different look and feel. So, so how do we come up with an empirical metric that says how well are we actually rendering this particular image? And is it an image that we can show at this particular aspect ratio? Meaning, is there any possible set of renderings that would look good? So the first thing we have to do is say, you know, what's, what's actually going on in this image? Meaning, you know, where are the faces, bodies, edges, focal regions, et cetera, 30 other things that we have to look at at every image and say, you know, when we take this image and we want to slice and dice it and cut out a specific region, what do we know is actually happening in that region? And can we make absolute determinations that something is or is not actually an eligible rendering? So it's no good if we cut people's faces in half or, you know, cut out, you know, the important thing that the brand is rendering. Or if it's, if it's a car manufacturer, for example, you can't just cut that car in half. And then it comes to our brands. So there's the question of what do brands actually want? And that's the most important thing for us at the end of the day. And brands really want meaningful consumer engagement both before and after the click. That means they want people to see the brand message, actually engage with it before they click it, because However good your click-through rate is, you know, if you have a 2% click-through rate, that's fantastic in the world of banner ads. That means 98% of people never actually clicked on that ad. So it has to look great for the people that didn't click, as well as for the people that did. And it has to drive meaningful post-click engagement as well. And fortunately, we're in an industry where we actually get that feedback. So the first thing we, you know, when you talk to brands and you ask them what they really care about, 
Well, they care about these four things. Contextual relevance, ad viewability, social impact, and return on investment. So contextual relevance and ad viewability, not really a function of how well we render the image. However, you know, ad viewability is a function of being native. So we're able to get our ads in stream, although it's, it's a hard task to do that on a thousand different publishers. The next two are what they really care about. So social impact. Do people actually, are they compelled to share this with their friends online? Will people actually interact with it once they share it? If you're doing a really bad job rendering a particular image, nobody's going to share it unless it's so bad that it's funny. Um, and also, are you actually getting a good return on investment? That means, are people clicking? Are people, once they click, actually buying anything from your ads? And you, you can actually get a lot of really good feedback in the world of ads, because you're doing thousands and thousands and millions and billions of ad buys. And so you can really start to see over time you know, where different renderings are and are not working. You can normalize. You can do A-B tests. And you actually get more feedback in this industry than maybe, maybe any other in terms of how well you're actually cropping. And that's been great for us as we kind of evolve our algorithms. So finally, at the end of the day, when we talk to the brands, what do they want? They want ads where consumers are paying attention. And that we get with native advertising. They want ads that, and rendering that meets that brand's idiosyncratic look and feel requirements. So again, if you're an auto manufacturer, you have to show that car, right? And not only do you have to show that car, but Nissan has very particular requirements about how this logo is rendered. So we have to look at how we actually take the brand's particular assets, make it look and feel great on any different device. How do we then put that logo in a place that doesn't overlay any important parts of that image and leverage that brand's unique look and feel constraints? How does it perform? So at the end of the day, is the brand actually taking, are they actually seeing a return on their ad spend? So they're used to you know, spending a certain amount of dollars and getting a certain amount of clicks, conversions, what have you. And they, they can track that. So however well we're doing, and whatever our algorithms are, at the end of the day, they don't really care. They care that their brand idiosyncratic metrics are met, and they care that the performance is better. right? And that goes to ease of use as well. So they have to be able to give you a single set of assets, and it has to look great. And so that's basically what we've built our algorithms and our whole system to do. Thank you. Thank you.